Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be doing a beast build and I mean like it's gonna be insane or maybe I'm just stupid and I think it's gonna be insane. But let me just quickly take you down with the components that I'm gonna be using. Now for flight control and ESC, uh, it's gonna be this new flight tower. It's an F3 flight tower from uh, from Flycolor and um, we have tested this on the channel and I've been waiting to put this on something. It tested absolutely beautiful. So this is its chance to shine and however I'm going to be uh, let's just say stress testing it and you'll see why in a bit so this comes together as so and because it has pins that connect the flight control to the ESC and the standoffs this is the default standoffs I got it to fit just perfect however I did have to trim off the extra threads popping up so it would fit flush however once I have this in there's no room for anything else so I'm going to use an XM plus receiver I could stick that anywhere but the, the VTX was the biggest issue I've had here Luckily, um, a couple weeks ago, a company called AKK contacted me. And they said, hey, we have a couple of VTXs. Would you like to try them? I said, yeah, send them over. So, mm, you know, they, they gave me two. One is a 30 by 30. It's a VTX. It has everything up to 800 milliwatts, uh, pit mode, smart audio, everything. And they gave me also one that was 20 by 20 for micros. And I managed to fit the micro in here. So that's pretty sweet. I did add some brass... Uh, spacers here that I had I bought a trillion years ago and I finally found a good use for them so I'm very happy that came through um, it wasn't wasted so that's very good and then it comes with the MMC export which loops around comes back here so overall that should be pretty clean pretty good this is what I'm hoping for um, so it looks kind of weird but it's gonna get the job done for camera, we're going to use a Runcam Swift. Yes, yeah, Swift. Uh, these were on sale like, I don't know, four weeks ago for 20 bucks. So I got like six, I think. I got a bunch of them just in case. So it was, I mean, it's good. It's not bad. I like these parts, but usually nothing really incorporates them that much anymore. So we're just going to be stuck with these anyways. So overall, I mean, it's going to be pretty cool. But the most insane part about it, I didn't even show you just yet, I just remembered. <laughs> so let me show it to you guys. The motors. 2506, 2400 kV. Ion motors. These are from iFlight. Uh, these were provided to me by iFlight. And um, what an awesome opportunity to use them. What do you guys think? This is going to be an absolutely insane build. However, there's something also pretty cool about this build that's going to happen. This flight controller comes with basically everything ready for you. That's for your camera, that's for your VTX, and that's for your receiver. We don't have to solder anything but the motors. So, yeah, except, you know, this, I'm going to have to cut this guy for the receiver because I'm using XM+. Plus. I don't even have to if I put the pins in, but I don't want to use the pins. And uh, the VTX would have fit, but it's not because this one is a bit different. It's a little bit longer, but they're the same pin size. So what I can do is I'm just going to remove those three wires and remove all the wires from this and just add those three and just stick that to the VTX and I'm good to go. And the VTX is just back here, like so. Like a... So, that's it. So it's beautiful. Alright, so... Enough talking, and let's get started. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to prepare the VTX wire. So it's right here. We're going to go ahead and remove all these pins. And we are going to start putting them into uh, this one right there. So we're going to remove these also. Let's actually start with these. So we're going to go ahead and try it with some needle nose tweezers here. And it should do the job just fine. This one we really don't care about if we break uh, the connector. But we do care about the orientation. So, you just gotta lift this plastic piece up. And most connectors are all basically the same. And there we go. And last but not least. Oh shit. Perfect. Alright, so let's just keep it like this in case if I have to repeat this video for the orientation so let's just do it like so so it's 5 volt ground video alright so actually we'll just remove one and insert one instead 
So here's 5 volt. It's out now. So we take it from the flight controller. And we're going to stick this guy in. Like so. And you really don't want to break this. Because if you break this, basically, our VTX is unusable. So. I don't know if I'm going to skip over this for the video for you guys. But, um. Seems in. Alright, so now we're going to get take out ground here. We're going to put the new ground. Okay. So here's ground. We need the ground that's coming from the flight controller, which is this guy. Make sure he stays facing up. Perfect. This guy went in absolutely beautiful. Better than the 5 volt. Now video. So, yeah, let's just, yeah, there we go. Now it's video, so five foot ground video. That's what I remember saying. And here we have video. I'll just keep this for a little bit later. Let's go ahead and remove the others. Here's another 5 volt. I mean, ground. And here's 5 volt. And here's audio. You know, should we keep audio? Which is smart audio? Hmm. I think we should. So we're just going to cut that wire. We're going to keep the green one because that's going to be for changing the thingy but I don't know if this one does it anyways we'll figure it out so let's go ahead and bring back our yellow here beautiful okay so that's all said and done and good I'm actually gonna remove the green one for now let's go ahead and remove it Alright, so VTX is done, we're not going to need to solder anything. Uh, this is going to be for our uh, receiver, so I'm just going to cut that off right now. This is going to be camera, and this should fit our camera just perfect, please. Okay, 5 volt, yes, perfect. Perfect. So everything is good, however this is not long, no, it's just perfect. Alright, so we don't need to solder anything but the motors and the receiver. And I think that's it. Yeah, we don't need anything else. Motors and receiver and we're done. So let's prepare the pads now. Alright, so let's go ahead and prepare the pads here. As you can see, I have one set of motors prepared because uh, when we did the bench testing. So I'm just going to retouch those, make them nice and clean again. So this thing is rated up to 40 amps, and it's D-Shot 600 only, so should be good. It tested very clean, actually. I was very impressed. So, you know, this should be an overall good setup. I'm not even going to put a capacitor on this guy. Make sure the tip is clean because it'll make nightmares. Perfect. So that's all done, and all we're gonna need to do is just solder a receiver and the motor. So let me go get the motors and stick them on the frame, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I've gone ahead and prepared two motors with heat shrink. The sum so I don't forget it. 
And we're gonna go ahead and start with one motor here. We'll start with this one right there. So let's go ahead and prepare the wires together. And it's it's using six they're using sixteen gauge wire, which is pretty insane for motors. I think the F forties did that. The F forty V twos. They had pretty thick orange wire. Alright, so let's tin these guys. Alright, so in theory this should be pretty good. So yeah, alright. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some hemostats that'll make our life a lot easier here. Alright, so it's perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this guy right there. So that should be I'm trying to get it on the same level, actually just trim a little bit off. So that's perfect right there, like that. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> okay. That's nice. Nice, shiny, nice and beautiful. So let's go ahead and trim some of these guys off a little bit. Perfect, all right. This one's gonna be like one of the easiest builds ever. Just have to solder motors and um, and the receiver, and that's it. And hopefully it's gonna perform. I'm afraid that the batteries are not gonna be able to withstand such motors, but um, that's what we're here for to test that. I hope this is not gonna be the new hype, 2005, 25 what, 06, 2506. Big shout out to iFlight for providing them to me. It's very nice of them. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. so let's just take a look here. So it's pretty good actually, it's very nice. I really like it. Maybe we'll rehit this one. But it looks good in real life, kind of. So, yeah, the pads are very tiny, anyways. Alright, so I'm gonna skip over the rest and we're just gonna come back and take a look at it. <laughs> we should be done. Alright, guys, so now we're gonna prepare the receiver for soldering and let's do it together. And we're good here. So let's go ahead and bring our wire. Alright, so again, if you forget the orientation, we grab this. Okay, the antenna, bind button, correct. Ground 5 volt, this bus. So, ground 5 volt, this bus. So, we're going to start with this bus. Okay. Oh shit, should not have moved it. So now just do the five volt.
perfect. So, in theory, we're completely done. Let's go ahead and do this now. Right. So here's the beast. He's looking pretty damn sexy. And um, we're just gonna put this here where it belongs. I think more boards or stacks should come like this. Um, I think it's gonna be awesome. It saves a lot of time, and I can't get this to go in. So I'm gonna skip over this, and I'll be right back. All right, so I got it to go in, and uh, we're just gonna put the heat shrink on together because it's just so satisfying. And I don't know why FR Sky stopped putting the heat shrink. This is just um, bullshit. I really like this clear heat. This is my last piece right here of clear heat shrink. And I want more of it because with this, you know, when we're going to bind, it makes things easier for us or rebind, you know. Okay. It's just so satisfying to watch it. Okay, so we're good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and install the camera to the frame and then I'll be right back and then we take a look at it and see if everything works. All right guys, so here is our final result and it's looking absolutely sexy. Um, I really did love the way it turned out. Everything fit just barely, but everything fit nicely. So in the field, if we were to take it apart, we could easily just stick it back on together, which is always very important. And um, it's very good that we're able to do that. Uh, everything else just, I don't know, it just went just perfect. I'm just going to add some tape around these so this doesn't catch while I'm flying. I've had that happen to me in ruined motors before like that. So that's something very important to take note of. And uh, I'm going to be securing these two guys. One somewhere up here, one somewhere probably down by the leg. Or one just straight back down. But I'll figure it out. Uh, but overall, I'm very excited for this. I hope I, can, I, really, I just can't wait to actually go out and get it tested and try it out. And um, it looks like it's going to be a beast. So um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.